Okay folks, welcome to the first installment in the series Trading Synthetic Indices with ICT Concept uh, This particular video is going to be focused on determining the trend or determining bias because uh, directional bias is the starting point of your daily speculations and trading We want to know and determine with a great level of certainty where the daily chart is drawing towards and uh, when you do not have a clear read uh, on price action on, on, on the trend on the bias you want to actually stay off the market entirely sometimes uh, or you uh, you want to be very nimble in your executions and be very cautious okay in fact like I said in one, it is safer you uh, just stay off during this period from trading and just stay period until uh, bias is very clear so that being said, uh, in determining the trend of bias, we're going to be employing this concept that you are seeing uh, on your screen, uh, market structure, uh, market physics, breakout block concept, liquidity pools, and fair, fair value gap uh, concept, which is fair, uh, FVG concept, okay? So this particular video, I will uh, dwell a bit on market structure, uh, I'm going to be employing breakout block concepts, liquidity pools, and fair value gap. Uh, bit as it may do, I will record a separate video, and that will be the second installment on market thesis. Uh, I will record a YouTube short. Okay, so you do make sure you watch those uh, short snippets. Okay, a YouTube short on breakout block concept, liquidity pools, and fair value gap concept. I'll just basically be pointing your attention to what they are and. Uh, I will just be highlighting examples, okay, uh, to aid your understanding of what they are. And if you want to uh, uh, delve more into uh, understanding what breakout blocks are, liquidity pools, and favorable gaps are, you can go to Michael's channel. That's Inner Circle Trader. Or you actually watch some of my videos on this channel and you have a better understanding of what they are. They are very simple and straightforward. Okay, so market structure. So market structure, we are going to be looking at structural highs and lows, uh, what swing points are, then I'll talk a bit on uh, market structure insight and that's what we're going to do. So uh, we are going to go to the chat in a few minutes and uh, we're going to look at that uh, in depth. So when we talk about structural highs and lows, you know, uh, in market structure, uh, the basic idea of market structure is that in an uptrend, price should be making series of higher highs and higher lows. That's very simple, right? Okay. Uh, and what forms a high actually is, uh, or a low, a swing point, swing highs and swing lows. We're going to look at that, okay? Uh, so, and in a downtrend, price should be making series of lower highs and lower lows, okay? Yeah, so then when either of this is present on the chart, we can see that there is a trend, either bullish or bearish. And that's that's market structure. There is nothing more than that, okay? Of course, there are, uh, do that, that's the basic you need to know. Of course, you can still go forward and uh, go in depth. But basically, if you know this, you are good. Uh, as it relates to what I'm going to be showing you or teaching you how to trade synthetic indices. But you know what? The conundrum here is that... Uh, how do you actually identify this swing point in price action okay okay folks welcome to the chat so like i was saying so we are going to be employing market structure and what we actually need in market structure is just uh to identify what range we have in price action okay and like i said we have structural highs and lows we are key structural highs and lows right okay so what forms a high what forms a low they are basically swing points and how do we uh define a swing point okay they are key turning levels on the chart okay and so that's why we refer to swing highs and swing lows so what forms a swing high basically a three bar pattern okay say so we have this is the first bar here is the second bar okay and here is a pod bar okay so the idea of a uh, swing high is that it's a three bar pattern okay uh, where uh, the first bar has a higher high than the first bar to the left and the second bar to the right okay so that forms a swing high and reverses the case for uh, a swing low basically the first bar I mean the middle bar 
has a higher low to the right and to the left of it. So those key levels are, are called swing point. So then we use this swing point, this swing guys and low, to define a trading range. Okay, so what we want to actually do or, or actually up, uh, I use this for is that we want to use the swing highs and swing lows to define impulsive price swings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, impulsive price swings. So let me show you a practical example on the daily chart. Let's use this one. Okay. Now, you know this is a swing high, right? And this is a swing low, right? So we are using this swing low and the swing high to help us determine or identify this impulse price swing okay and that is how a range is defined okay so uh don't worry i'm going to just be using this uh, to uh determine uh, the trend on a particular chart so let's quickly do that right uh the ones i've stated are what we are going to be using to determine directional bias and you're going to be starting from the daily chart okay so you want to know what is happening on the daily chart using what I've just outlined? So the first one in that list, uh, we're going to be determining. Okay, what is the range that we're high in price action on the daily chart? So we identify key highs and lows. So I've actually marked them out. We have this long term high. We have this long term low. We have this low. We have this high, and we have this high. So those are the key levels that we have in price on the daily chart. I mean key highs and lows. We have this particular low here. This high, this high, this high, this high, and this high, right? Okay, so the most significant range in price action here is this impulsive push to the upside, right? Then what is price currently doing? We can see this retracement into price action. Anybody will know that this is actually retracement in this uh, after this impulsive push that broke structure here. Okay, after price, what redid stops? Okay okay so price is retracing down into that range then if you draw your fib from the most significant range high and low okay so i drew my fib uh, from this range low to this range high and we can clearly see the price is below equilibrium which is 50 percent of that range and if that is the case then we are in what in discount okay actually we want to see a deep retracement into deep discount okay at least to the ota level okay uh, so that being said i know you can actually do this i've not actually done anything okay so this is very simple and straightforward there is no ambiguity in this okay so having done that what is price actually doing on the daily chart? We are retracing. Retracing where we might be retracing into this daily fear value gap. Okay, so we have actually employed right now price range and fair value gap to determine where the daily chart is likely to draw towards. Simple, straightforward. Yeah, so that being said, we can now go to the far chart to. So on the far chart, you do the exact same thing we just uh, did on the daily chart. So you want to identify key highs and lows, the range we're high in price action, and uh, key PDRs. Okay. So looking at this far chart right here, we have this long term high, and this long term low here. Then price has retraced into that range. Then we have a high here, key high here, present here. So. We can deduce from this that price is actually working this range this price range this range high and this range low we have retraced into deep premium okay and we have sold off okay so then we have so we have this key high that those are the levels we are referencing here we are we are referencing this high this low this high and this low okay you can see here high low here price went above this high broke below here okay so we already have a breaker did you see that so like i said earlier on we are just using uh, fear value gaps breakers key highs and lows and price range to determine the direction of us notice that we are bearish we have a bearish stance on the daily time frame okay okay we want to see if that is evident on the four hour chart okay this range high this range low price has retraced into premium so we can actually consider the sales consider the sell side 
okay and we have broken below this range low here okay after taking out a range high okay yeah so that is that on the far chart then you go to the one hour chart and try to see uh what price is doing so here we want to actually look at uh fair value gap so on that power range which is this uh range high and range low we have a key fair value gap present here so price traded into that rejected to the downside traded above it then traded below it again so that's a balanced price range okay so after price is taking out this key high present here which is yesterday's high we have a structural break to the downside so we actually want to see price trade into this fair value gap okay and this might be a short term target and that daily key level which is that daily fair value gap and that sets a liquidity that was below those levels uh, those lows right there would be the target so from this now we can actually say that our bias is actually to sell first to this fair value gap and then to that daily fair value gap okay so and that will be that on this uh, particular installment if you find value in this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and you leave your comment uh, down below in the comment section uh, for anything you do not understand okay as we progress in this uh, series and after we finish the series I'll be doing a daily price action log uh, actually teaching you how to do this live like I'll be recording videos on directional bars it may not be daily but as I see obvious price swings and price action and uh, as price is developing I'll be recording videos teaching you how to do this live with videos okay see you in the next installment